Susie. Yes. Some other people. <laughs> I think I'm going to, uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't, don't lick. Oh, yeah, lick. Maybe I'll see this recording. Maybe you will. But I was on here. What, what do we got going on here? Meaty sauce over spaghetti squash. Um, it's a dash diet recipe. Spaghetti squashes. Dang it. I just want spaghetti, not spaghetti squash. That's not spaghetti. Yeah, it is. Nummy. Oh, ah, Ooh, noodles. Somehow this project got started. <laughs> Yeah, we saw a lot. <laughs> Going to work on Sunday. Yay! <laughs> Extra money! About time you made some money. What? This is on the vlog. <sighs> nice jacket. Yeah, thanks. This keeps getting blurry. Bye, have a good day! Okay, tonight me and Gracie are making a loaded cauliflower and chicken casserole. We've got the cauliflower, it's about to simmer, so I'm gonna put a lid on it. A chicken defrosted, I gotta cut that up. And then I'm gonna mix stuff together with cheese and green onions and then bake and it'll come out looking like that square. Okay, cauliflower is steamed, still steaming, and I've got chicken all cut up, so I'm gonna cook this up. Okay, chicken thighs are, they're chopped up into little squares. Um, the best way to chop chicken up is keep it a little frozen so you can cut it up nicely. And I hope this chicken turns out okay in the casserole. It's thighs, and it was a little fatty, but being it will be baked, it should be okay. So I drained a can of green beans, figured that would go okay in here. And I chopped up some green onions. So now I'm gonna see what I do next. So apparently I didn't have much cheese I thought I did, so I'm cutting up some sliced cheese. So I got cauliflower and cheese. I'm gonna mix in the green onions, chicken, green beans, maybe some spices, and then put it in I don't know if I want to, I might keep the 9 by 13 pan. Okay, it's looking interesting. When I make meals like this, I just hope it tastes good. Or else I've come up with a plan B, the Chinese takeout. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put it in a pan and put cheese on top. Alright, I topped it with cheese. I feel like I should put pepperoni on top. <laughs> it's really easy when it's got sliced cheese. I just took aluminum foil off that I put on when I put it in. And it's looking pretty cheesy, looking pretty good. Finished product. So it was 25 minutes in the oven with foil and five minutes without foil. And it is bubbling somewhere on here. You can hear it. So I'm gonna give it a try. All right, verdict. It's all right, it's pretty good. I don't know, I'm just recording stuff for Alex. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go watch some originals and eat this food. I don't have to get Chinese. Okay. <laughs>